uh, dear students uh, to go for the second topic related to, to our course uh, current issues in accounting related to uh, the temporal problems related to applying accounting in some fields we will find that we have what we call a stock warrant what is a warrant a warrant is a certificate entitling the holder to acquire shares of uh, stock at a certain price within a stated period of time uh, why are we going to do this to make uh, security more attractive for uh, selling in the market uh, as evidence of a plaintiff right to keep the right of the holder to buy this uh, stock at a certain uh, price uh, as a compensation to employees if we need to uh, provide them with a compensation for uh, their own uh, lower payments related to the, their own wages and salaries and to make them attach it to the uh, business. So uh, we are going to understand uh, how to calculate uh, the amount related to the warrant alone and the amount related to the bond or the security alone because when we are to issue this amount or this type of um, paper in the market uh, or security in the market we are going to attach both at the same time which means we are going to sell uh, or issue uh, a one uh, paper uh, with attached other paper to it. The first is going to be for the security, uh, either a bond or whatever, uh, and the other one is going to be for the warrant. When we do uh, so, we are going to use what we call a proportional uh, method to calculate the value of each one of them. The value of the bond uh, without the warrant alone and the value of the warrant. Why are we going to do this? Because when we collect when we issue, when we collect the amount of cash rate to the issuance, we are going to set a one price, including the two pieces of paper attached together. So this means if we are to look to the example that we are issuing a 1,000 pound for a $1,000 each at uh, uh, an issuance price of 1,1%, uh, and after issuance, the bond were selling in the market at 98% uh, of its amount, and the warrant had a market value of $40 each. So using the proportional method means what? Means we are going to apply uh, the uh, four steps that we are going to see uh, later, but this will be our entry that we are going to apply. This is the amount of cash collected, and this is the bond which is going to be um, reflected only by the face value and uh, never uh, to set any other value related to it. And then the amount paid for the uh, stock warrant will be calculated, as you can see, and the discount will be calculated too. Why there will be a discount? Because the uh, value, as we've seen in the last slide of the uh, of the uh, bond was 98%. So this means that we are facing a discount case. Uh, the four steps would be as follows. First, we will have to calculate total market amount for both the bond and the warrant using the given uh, information, which is a 98% and the, the most important second part, a $40 per one uh, warrant and then uh, calculate each one percentage separately and then apply that percentage to the amount that was collected to uh, make the separation and then calculate the discount which is going to be the bond face value uh, given uh, we must deduct from it the bonds amount from the number three as we calculated it right now how to apply this let's go to the second uh, slide uh, first as you can see sir we are to apply the bones 1000 bones 
as uh, units multiplied by the $1,000 per pound and then for the given price settled which is 0.98 as of the uh, fair value related to the market. This will lead to $980,000 uh, and when we find the $1,000 as of warrants without any uh, amount given but the price is settled as of 40 uh, as of fair value or market value this will lead to 40,000 we will get the total the total is going to be 1 million 20 thousand dollars and then by dividing the 980 thousand by the 100 there's uh, one sorry the 1 million 20 thousand and then by dividing the 40 thousand alone uh, by the 1 million 20 we can reach uh, this answer as of a materiality or a percentage or a weight this is about 96 percent and this is about four percent totally will be a 100 percentage of course when we apply this to the amount collected okay the 1 million and 10 which is going to be collected why this amount will be collected because we said that the issuance is going to be at 101 so when we apply 1000 times 1000 times 101 as of a percentage it will lead to 1 million and 10 thousand collected uh, when we collect this amount when we apply the 96 percent to that amount and the four percent to that amount we will find that bones will be uh, issued at $970,392 and the warrants will be for $39,608. Uh, so when we had to calculate the last step, which is number four, that discount related to issuance of the bond, just by deducting the amount calculated uh, from uh, the uh, issuance of the bond which is this amount from the face or the uh, uh, given value related to this bond which is the face value a million we will find that this is the discount amount when we have these four information which means amount collected as of cash which is going to be number one given to us and this is number one and then we will have number two as of the discount provided to us this is number two and then the two provided amounts which is the collected amount for the pound uh, as of not to be seen but the face value which is going to be number three and this is going to be number four for the amount related to warrants so let's go to prepare our own so this is your entry here so if you are to see this cash collected is going to be a million ten thousand and the discount as calculated in number two twenty nine thousand six hundred eight and then the bonds payable as of face one million and then the stock warrants as of paid in capital will be thirty nine thousand six hundred and eight 